What's it been like to join this group of guys now at a SEC school at the University of Tennessee? Man, it's, it's so much fun here. You know, these guys are amazing. I have Grant, Admiral, Kyle, Zach to compete with every day. You know, we just like putting the body on each other and just keeping it competitive, but we love each other at the same time. You know, these are my brothers. Everyone on the team is my brother, you know, so we love each other. We saw you in the Rocky Top League a, a little bit. What was that experience like for you? Um, it was fun, you know, seeing how, like, the people love coming out to see different people come play. And, like, it was fun how they picked people from different schools to come play together. So it just, it just b- builds, like, having to be teammates with people you don't really know and getting to know people in a short, a short amount of time. Does Coach Barnes kind of make fun fun of it and say, ah, nobody plays defense over there, I can't? Yeah, no one, no one <laughs> plays defense in that league. You know, it's all about running the score up. Yeah. So how much improvement have you made from when you first got here? I know you had, you had mentioned that you had lost some weight from when you first got on campus. What, what kind of progress have you made from when you got here to now starting practice? Just just staying in shape you know keeping in shape is the biggest thing in this league because you gotta be able to run up and down you know and I, I gotta be able to match these guys physicality so if I'm in shape it helps them out and well it's helped me out where are you at from a weight standpoint around 235 240 all right and you're listed here I guess six eight you think Sorry. that's accurate it is accurate I think I think it is <laughs> I think it is uh, talk about uh, your fellow newcomer in the post, Zach Kent. What, what's Zach like? He's a skilled guy. You know, he, he knows he loves the game. He's very skilled. He's a little he's a little skinny, but he's, he eats a lot. You know, and I don't I don't see how that guy is heavier than me. <laughs> you know, he eats a lot. Who is um, who's maybe tried to take you under their wing a little bit, if any anyone in particular? Um, Admiral Schofield, Greg Williams, you know, we're, we're like, we're like people, you know, so they see potential that I have in myself, so they want to make sure I'm the best I can be. How much did you pay attention to Tennessee or even SEC basketball before getting here? Um, I always knew the SEC was was different, it's physical, you know, it's like no other, no other conference. What are your expectations for this team this year? Uh, somehow pop in the, in the turning, mm-hmm. you know, just make our way up to the turning. That's the biggest thing. Describe Rick Barnes as a head coach. He's a character on and off the court, you know. <laughs> that's, that's my guy. I love him. You know, he, he's hard on us in practice, but he knows when to have fun. Has he pulled a practical joke on you specifically? Because he <laughs> tries to do that to a lot of Not yet. I have not got that one yet. <laughs> have you seen him do it to somebody else, though? Anything stand um, out? Not so far. He he likes to play with us a lot, but he hasn't he hasn't done a practical joke on us yet. Are you a big NBA guy? You probably follow. The, yeah, I yeah. like the Cleveland Cavaliers. I follow LeBron. You know, he's the greatest player in the world to me. So, what do you think about the Cavaliers offseason, Kyrie leaving, and all that? Um, I mean, I think they got an eye for an eye. You know, I think IT can do the same thing as Kyrie can do. So it's just about them playing together. You know. Interesting. Well, Derek, good to talk to you. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Nice shot. Have a good day. All right. Thanks. You too.